Welcome to Live Edge, episode number next. My name's Matt. I'm Amy. And this is, oh, welcome to the show. I always, <laughs> I always mess that up for some reason. I don't know why. How y'all oh, doing tonight? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so tonight we're going to be talking about 10 stocking stuffer ideas for your woodworker or for yourself. I don't have comments for some reason. I do. I see all of you. Uh, I'm here for you even when he's not. Be, I'm always here for you. Be sure and drop those stakes for us. <laughs> I want to give out the sawdust spotlight real quick. Let me get this pulled up. Sawdust spotlight tonight goes out to Dale Frazier, who made this awesome leather and wood cross. Check that out. That is really cool. Some really fine detail in that, too. I like that a lot. Did a good job on that. Using those uh, different... Mm -hmm. Different materials. Different materials I like that. there. Different textures. That is really cool. Um, Rob Strong, I have not seen that, but I'll look for it. I have no, not been on Facebook. Done saw what? Hmm? What you done saw? I said I have not seen that, but I will look for it. You don't worry oh, about it. I got it. you. You just, you just mind your own over there. Oh, okay. I see. I see how it is. <laughs> so tonight's show, uh, you can see right there, there's a code that goes to our store. Uh, Miss 731 comes up with this code. At, go to 731woodworks.com slash store. You can save 20% on any order. Uh, you just use hol holiday 20 is the code you can see there on the screen. Such an original code. It is this original. time of the you year. You come up with a really good original code. I, I was just floored at how original that was. I'm telling you. <laughs> I got to find Those my chat idioms. window. Where's my chat window? Your idioms here lately. What'd you call me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I can't see the comments. So I feel lost. I feel like oh, I don't know what anybody's okay, saying. Well, let me catch you up. Um, everyone says hi. Hey, hey, hey. Where's that? They're dropping those states. Comments are So that's sense. really good. I found it. I found it. <laughs> hey man, that was that was awesome. Hey Steph, you got them in there. I got them in there. You got them now. Okay, yep. are you straight? Mm-hmm. Straight. All right, good deal. All right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna look for this while you do your thing over there. Do your thing. Do your thing. All right, so let's jump right into it. I want to show you some really cool stocking stuffers, and I picked these. I hand selected them myself just for you. And if you're interested, there's links in the description below for you can go check out. During the show, after the show, whatever you want to do. Uh, so I recommend go checking them out. I have all of these tools in the shop. Uh, so they're really uh, just a handy to have. Let me show you my screen. The first thing I want to pick is Painter's Pyramids. If you don't have any of these, these things are fantastic. So what these are made, you just set them on your workbench. And then you can hold projects up while you paint or finish or let them dry, especially like cutting boards and different things. I've used these for years and they're only seven bucks on Amazon. So they're extremely cheap, like very, very cheap to, to buy and just have a bunch of them. I've got about 20 or 30 of these things and I, they stack, they store easy and they just, they're just really handy to have. My second pick my second pick, if you're a woodworker, you need some of these. Go check out tagtools.com. He has some cabinet scrapers here. These are only like 30 bucks, and they come in all shapes and sizes. That way you can get in all those crooks and crevices in the, in the, into uh, radiuses and everything. I use these a lot of times. If you saw that last table build I made, I actually was using the, the square one to scrape off that extra glue. Perfect for that. They can create a really fine finish too. They scrape off just a minuscule amount of wood at a time. They're just, they're really good. Really good. Number three, we're going to run through five and then we'll stop and chat a minute and then we'll go to the next five. That's how we're going to run through this. This is number three. I use this thing all the time on both my orbital sander and my belt sander or oscillating spindle sander. This thing, if you saw that last video where I had to take all that finish off, had I not had this belt sanding eraser or whatever you call this thing, then I would have been there for days. Uh, just I would have had to just continually swap those sandpapers out because they just get clogged up with that finish. Or when you're sanding just different things like that, it'll it'll clog that, that uh, sandpaper up and it doesn't work anymore. Or if you're doing distressing or something like that, it, that paint clogs it up. 
this thing just takes it right out of there and they're super cheap like 11 bucks for one of those they're just super handy to have i, I highly recommend one was that one two three number four number four I have for your Rockler bench cookies. So if you got, if you ever work with any of these, you know how handy that you can actually make some of these people have made them and glued, like just make some wood blocks and glue some of this rubber material on there, but they're so cheap that you can just buy several of them there. They also have some accessories you can get to use with them, like these stands and different things like that. They actually have paint cones that go on top of these. I've got some of those too. I don't see them here in any of the pictures, but these things are super handy to have 25 bucks for a set of four. It's really hard to beat those things and they hold that work when you're sanding or when you're trying to work with a piece gets it elevated the rubber grippies keep it from moving around on your workbench they're just this is one of those had have to have things and just throw in a stocking for somebody next number five and then we'll stop take a break and we'll chat with y'all this is a glue bot or a glue dispenser i know y'all seen these all over the place on YouTube, I use them, and they're just super handy to have. It keeps your good your glue good and uh, not dry. It doesn't dry up on you because it has those caps and things. I always tend to lose the little rubber cap, but the glue will dry right there on the end. You can just peel it off and keep on rocking. But those things are just super handy to have, and they're very very cheap. Eight bucks, uh, just a good stocking stuffer. I'd like to know what your ideas for stocking stuffers is. So if you have those, go ahead and drop those in the comments and. Uh, I like to see them. Uh, Woodcraft seven sixteen says he he uses his or makes his own bench cookies. So that's awesome. It's what kind of ideas you have? Huh? Nothing. Did I say something wrong? It's okay. What I say? You didn't have subject verb agreement. It's okay. Oh, it's English stuff. <clears throat> English stuff. Honeydew <laughs> Creation says they love their glue bot. Um. So Rob Strong is asking for prayers for his wife. He posted to the community. Uh, you did your first five, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> said that they found out on Friday his wife's CPAP that she's been using for over years under recall oh, man. because the foam insulator that they use in it is causing different types of uh, cancer. Mm. So uh, they're asking for prayers, I think, because they're needing to get a new and safe C CPAP for her and then also, you know, to make sure that mm. there's no ill side Sorry, effects man. from what she's been using. So prayers for your family. Yeah, for sure. Um Everyone's asking about me, uh, Becca and <laughs> Steph and all them. They're asking. Uh, Health update. Greg. Health update. Yeah. Um, still got my stone. Holding on to that puppy. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to let don't it go. don't want to let it go for some reason. Don't want to let that little stinker go. Um, yeah. My boss is telling me to, to get a sub. And Your husband's telling you to go. To the my worker. husband is telling me to go. And my students are telling me to go because <laughs> I'm doubling over in class in the middle of an essay lesson. So they're like, oh. they looked at me so serious today. And one of them said, we need you. <laughs> we need you to be healthy. And I was we all like, do. <laughs> 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 it was the sweetest thing. They were so good today. Maybe, hey, maybe I need to pretend to have a kidney stone. And then they'll just be good day. for you every day. Yeah. 1807 said, how's the dust collector? <laughs> Man, it's doing good. I've, I've really enjoyed having it in the shop. It's making me a lot cleaner in there and it works really, really well. I actually uh, edited the video and uploaded it today. S hopefully that it'll come out Thursday. I got to let Laguna look at it and make sure they're good with everything. But since it was a partner deal, uh, they gave me a discount for getting the, the dust collector and, but full disclosure, I reached out to them and said, Hey, these are the, these are the items I want. Can we work together? And they agreed. So that was uh, the deal on those, but it's been a excellent, excellent dust collector. And I got a full review video on that and the dust uh, set, the dust, uh, we call it thing, filtration system. I got a full review on both those Thursday. Um, so Becca says that I should hold on to it until it turns into a pearl. You Is know that how I, that works? You know I'm a pearl girl. <laughs> I love pearls. So <laughs> that just may have to be what we're doing. Here. Rich Enoch, I have used my mini split heater several times. Actually, you know, when it gets below about 60 here in Arkansas, we get cool. So. It's a matter of fact, the heat's on out there now. It's uh, 45 degrees here and getting down to 35 tonight. I'll hit it on about 68 at night and it stays fairly, you know, decent in there. And then when I go out there to work out in the morning, I'll bump it to 70 and it's, it's really, really nice. Uh, Jonathan, please tell me you guys have a fist bump Christmas tree ornament. If not, y'all know what we to do. We sure do. Look at there. 
Yeah. That was sent to us last year, but yep. I loved it so much. I wanted to hang it on that and yep. not put it on a tree. Yep. But I do want to do a woodworking tree. <laughs> uh, I've kind of come up with this idea. Married man makes the, some mallets. Yeah, but that's for next Christmas. What I want to do is we want all of you guys to send us. You can cut it out of wood, like really thin plywood or something. Mm. Cut out the shape of a sticker if you have a sticker sticker for your business or um, your company and put a sticker on it and then put a hole in it with a string and send it to us and next year we want to do a family Christmas tree yeah, with cool. all of you guys. There's a Christmas tree so, right behind the camera right now. It's got dogs on it. Well, that's our dog tree. I know. I'm we want to do a family Christmas tree for our woodworking family. Mm -hmm. or I that do. would be cool. So we we will make sure that we take care of that in time next year. FRM Rider says, am I, uh oh, quit the wrong one. He says, am oh, I the only 14-year-old that watches these videos? No, you're not. <laughs> We've got several in here that watch the videos. Yeah, we have a lot of young ones in here. Who said that? FRM Rider. I don't know that one. Senyetta, I can't say your last name. Do you have any old tools you want to get rid of? Not yet, but uh, we probably have a giveaway coming early next year. Kind of way I'm looking Comatite? at it. Comatite? Hmm? Centaja? Comatite? Oh, I don't know. I can't pronounce it. I don't know what you said. I may have said it <laughs> way off. <laughs> oh, my goodness. If you guys did not tune in to Married Man last night. That was good. It, it he was had a really good show. Woodworking YouTubers. Married Man, yeah. you can drop that link in the in the chat now if you want to. Uh, I was on his live stream, and it was it just had a good night. It was a good It was a good deal. He was really getting everything pumped up in the beginning Man, with the countdown music. Some, yeah, he got yeah. some countdown music you may, and everything. You made us look lessons. bad, he takes Mary lessons. Man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, I think you're slacking. <laughs> Curtis M says, in your recent video, how did you manage to hook up your planer to dust separator and not have Thank it overpower? Thank you, Dutch Wallace. Uh, it, just, uh, it just worked. Uh, I don't know. Um, if yours is coming undone or something, mine, it just worked for a while. I mean, it's, it fills up pretty quick. I had to dump it, a, dump it a couple of times, but, uh, I don't know. It just worked. <laughs> Kiko says 14 year old at heart here. <laughs> some days, Are we all? some days I am. And some days I'm like, you know, 114 year old <laughs> at heart here. <sighs> Get out of my lawn. It was good, Becca. You need to tune into it next week. I think you'll like it or go back and, and watch it. Yep. Oh goodness! Thank you for three, two, one. <laughs> That's funny. That was funny. Uh, Steph wants you guys to hit that like button for yep. us. So if you are on a phone, just go out of the chat, hit the like button, and then you can come back into the chat. I did that last night on Married Man. Yep, showed you. I, yeah, I was like, oh yeah, that's how you do that. Thank you, Lactic. Uh, Todd, it is very, very scary to to start that and start what. Uh, he says, I'm seriously considering starting my own oh. handyman business, but I'm also terrified. Love your show. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, it's really scary to start, mm -hmm. but if you're going to be doing a handyman business, that means maybe going out and fix some things for other people. Just be careful of that if you're not licensed. Yeah. Or... I mean, I'm, I'm not a, we're not lawyers. We can't give legal advice yeah. and we're not tax people, but mm -hmm. Or CPAs, but I would just, if it was me, just do the, I would make sure I had the research some, on it would, ahead of time. I would have some contractors insurance to protect you from being in the houses. Yeah, stuff. just just do some checking on that first. That kind of stuff always scares me when I'm hiring somebody. That, well, I can't hardly find anybody <laughs> around here to do small jobs. Um, we are fixing to do new floors in our house, though. We're gonna put them in ourselves and make a video about it. How y'all yeah. like that? <laughs> We're going to put some uh, engineered yeah. hardwood or bamboo. bamboo. Uh, she likes bamboo. Mm -hmm. So that's probably what we'll do. That, that is what we'll do. Yep. <laughs> They're getting some buffering. Is yeah, Daniel I am internet? too. N um, did you tell them? No. I got some buffering on mine a few minutes ago. Let's make sure all my stuff's closed over here. All right. Other than the live stream, of course. Yeah, when he gets to pushing mm -hmm. those buttons, you never know what it, what's going to happen. Our George Peach says, buffer, buffer. Buffer, Te buffer. Text Daniel, make sure he's not on it. Me? Oh, and y'all keep dropping those states. Yep, I am. Sure. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. So, uh, do you have anyone playing video games? What? <laughs> she wanted to know if we had anybody playing video games. Oh. <laughs> Share the link uh, that I added. Oh, you can just go up there. 
Okay, Rob, I'll, I'll go into that. I'm back out of it now. PJ uh, Barker says bamboo, the pets won't scratch it. That's that's the goal. And waterproof. We're wanting yeah. waterproof. And uh, we're also oh, having another. Oh, Pasquale. Their dog passed oh, away this morning. Sorry, man. So sorry about that. That sucks. Bamboo fades in sunlight. Make sure it's right for you. <laughs> and stop pushing buttons. <laughs> um, so the bamboo that we're looking at, it's engineered hardwood bamboo, but it comes with like this crazy warranty mm. on absolutely anything. Um, it's from Cali. No, I don't remember what's yeah, Cali bamboo or something like that. Something like that. I mean, you can get it. It's from, what we're looking at. We ain't bought it yet. Yeah, you can get it from different places. I know Lowe's has it. Uh, that's one of the brands we're looking at though. Um, but yeah, we're we're we got to do something. Mm-hmm. It's rough here. It's past time. It's past. Time. We also have another project we want to tackle, and basically building a one of those electric fireplace inserts, and then building a like faux fireplace with a real wood mantle. Uh, we want to do that. We have a perfect spot for it, so we're going to try to do that over. Um, Gray Cloud says upcoming project to do laminate all throughout, so that's another oh, yeah. big project. Mm-hmm. That's we have laminate wood flooring, but ours is the old style, um, and it y- if you drop something on it, it will make it bust. Mm-hmm. And we have our, our dishwasher leaked, and it made it bubble up. And you can't fix it. The mm-hmm. one we have, you can't just spot fix it. You would have to replace the whole entire floor. See what so, uh, Jeff Aure is in? Where? He said, Ranger started to put a round over on your table until I gave him a once over. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, the good thing about it, it's got that Rubio monocoat. So if it messes up, you just buy your little Rubio and put where the teeth marks are and it'll just be distressed then. Uh oh. I wonder what Spinderella <laughs> thought. <laughs> oh, no. Did he, did he damage it? I don't know. Awesome, man. Uh, Justin, I knew that uh, you were the last one to get the tumbler because of the Canadian. Uh, hold uh, sometimes they get held up in customs or whatever and i knew that you i didn't know you personally i just knew somebody in canada had one more left to deliver so i'm glad you got it man all right so let's hit the last five let's hit this other five and then we'll continue i'll take some more questions so the next one i would like if you watched my christmas list video this one was already on there but i had to throw it in there again because these things are so darn useful these digital levels are perfect for setting angles on your table saw that's what i use mine for that magnetic base. If you haven't seen the woodworking or the five Christmas gifts for woodworkers videos, it's, it's come out a week and a half or two weeks ago. It's on the channel. You can go check it out, but it's, I like this one. Uh, for one, it's Tay tools. I like Tay tools and it's got the on off button and a zero button. That's it. It's very simple to use and it just works. And, and it uses AAA batteries and not those little round watch or batteries that sometimes these things use. And so that you can just easily replace those. And I like it. It works good. The next one is a flush trim saw. If you don't have a flush trim saw, you need one. Because when, and there's so many times I've used flush trim saws on different projects. If you saw the last table bill for cutting those dowels off flush, but I've used them for tons of other things too. And just making small cuts, like if you just need to take a small bite out of a piece of wood and you don't want to use power saws, one of these is perfect for that. You can just take a little bit of wood off. They, they cut really clean and nice. And it's just, it's just you need one in the shop if you're going to be woodworking. And this is the one I like. And uh, there's links in the description below to all these if you're interested in any, picking up any of them. Hey, okay. number three, or I guess it'd be number what, eight. Number eight. CA glue. We all need CA glue. I use it all the time. Uh, I probably use this more than I use... <laughs> almost as much as I use wood glue. I use it all the time. This is a brown plus an accelerator. If you're working with uh, walnut or if you're going to be painting, especially or staining dark black or brown glue is what you need. And then I've got some clear. I rarely ever use clear. Most of the time it's black and brown is what I wind up using. So that's what uh, I recommend. And then you can get these bundles uh, from, I think they're 20, yeah, $25 from our uh, star bond dot com and you can get these these bundles that come with an accelerator and two ounces of glue and you wouldn't think two ounces of glue would last long that stuff goes a very long way especially if you're just getting nail holes or cracks stuff like that this is just a good stocking stuffer for for the woodworker in your life or yourself all right next one up rz mask uh, dust mask these things are fantastic they have a two-strap model they have a one-strap model these are the m2 
the one strap model, I have one in safety green. I'm sure you saw me wear it quite a bit. I use this thing all the time. What I like about them is they actually have a replaceable filter inside that you can just take those two little black uh, handles off right there or that little knob. And then that just undoes the filter. And then you can just pull that filter out and put a new one in. And they last quite a long time, those little paper filters. It comes with the extra filters too when you buy it. And it's just, they're just good. There's a two strap model. If you saw, there was one video I did where I, I had these in there and the two strap model, it actually fits a little better uh, as far as holds to your face a little better, but for comfort. And uh, I just keep going back to this, the one, the green one you see in the videos all the time. Cause it's just, they just make good masks. Uh, I did learn from uh, all red woodworks that you cannot wash the filter, but you can wash the outer shell. And so if it gets dirty, you can throw it in the wash, but the filters won't, won't make it through the wash. <laughs> Last but not least, shameless plug. Uh, this is our website, 731boards.com. We actually have two charcuterie boards on there. Maybe not stock and stuffer, but these are uh, ironwood. We just made those. The video is coming out on those Sunday. And then also our digital plans. So picking these digital plans up, we try to price them really reasonable so people can afford them. And you can print those off, stuff them in the stock and stuffer, or just email them if you want to be lazy. And we also have shirts available too if you want to check those out, just like the one. I'm wearing tonight. That rounds up the top 10. I, I forgot. I should have worn mine tonight. Um, thank you for letting us know that, Jason. Miss Ann is on here tonight, but she can't whoop, whoop. chat because her phone. So, but she is on here with us tonight. Uh, Rick Calter, two before supporter for two eight before. months, says, Boom. just got my first order for 18 cutting boards due by the 19th. Oh, oh somebody's <laughs> going to be busy. Order came from a Missouri Farmer Association. I was in a big hurry and cut my thumb on the table saw this past Friday. Oh, no. Yikes, 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 man. And I don't know who said it. I had, because it, it went by and I miss maybe Josh said is a saw stop a stocking stuffer. It is. It's an excellent stocking stuffer. Mm -hmm. You just need a big and bigger stocking. And if you call your shop a stocking, that works too. Mm -hmm. That's what I would that, call it. <laughs> that, would, that would work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, really quick. Let me go ahead and call out the state since you've already done your, your 10 items. Uh, we have Missouri, Mississippi, Arkansas, Tennessee, Texas, Florida, Oregon, Nevada, Montana, Rhode Island, India, Australia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, Ohio, Minnesota, Georgia, Kentucky, Indiana, Ireland, Wisconsin, Wa uh, Washington, Canada, Delaware, Can uh, California, Alaska, Louisiana, Maryland, Pennsylvania, New York, Illinois, Iowa. Awesome. And I'm sure I missed somebody. All right. Uh, Mike Appalling. Portugal. What? Mike. Portugal. Awesome. It's on here. That's Ivo cool. Novo. Finally caught you guys live. Cool. Sweet. Uh, this is... Mike Pauling, it was Jason Mike, that said 1972. Correct. So what kind of ear protection do you like best? Uh, truthfully, you'll see me wearing these all the time. These are AirPods Pro. They have noise cancellation in, built into them. I wear these all the time. I, I'll forget they're in. And I wear these working out. I've got some Powerbeats Pro that I also wear sometimes. But for working, like if you want some OSHA approved and all that, ISO tunes are really great. Uh, I've got a pair of those in the shop. And then 3M work tunes, if you like over-the-ear protection like these, just they look just like this or very, very similar to this. And they're Bluetooth, and you can listen to music and books and all podcasts, stuff like that. But nine times out of ten, I wear these, but I also have those others out there. Matter of fact, the other day I was playing some boards, and these were in the house. I just grabbed those ear mufflings and threw those on. And the great thing about those is you don't have to listen to anything. You can just put them on while you... If you have some short jobs. We also have Arizona, West Virginia. I said Alabama and Maryland. And then, hey, Josh and Nicole, they're in here with us tonight from uh, Michigan. <laughs> uh, H2, I think our son's off the internet. I'm not sure why it's buffering. Um, did you do the hard wiring? No, I forgot. That's why it's buffering. It's him. It's me. It was me. Yeah. <laughs> so... It's not the it's not the sun tonight. Forest Woodworks says, "Can you talk about your music choice? Do you have a method for music choice?" I use I have a YouTube um, Premium, which comes with uh, YouTube Music, so I use that. And what I like about that on the top Thank row you, of the app, Shots. there's super mixes, and basically it'll basically generate a super mix based on what you listen to. As a matter of fact, they sent me one today, an email saying, "This is your listening from 2021." And uh, here's your top songs. And it told me how many songs I listened to. And the number one song I listened to was There Was Jesus by Zach Williams. So that was 
This is Zach Williams, right? That's his name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and Dolly Park. Yeah, that was, I was um, like, oh, I've listened to that song a bunch. Household Project says a huge thank you to you guys. Oh, oh, it moved. For inspiring uh, my son Drew to do woodwork. He's 15 years old from Texas. Sweet. That's awesome. That is awesome. I love how many young people mm-hmm. are doing it. So somebody earlier said, am I the only 14 year old that watches these? Yeah. We've got 11 and 12 year olds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We've got a lot of young people in here. Jim Spikes has been a one by six supporter for nine months. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Thank you, Jim Spikes. Uh, it looks like I'm going shopping after the show, James Mella says. <laughs> Watching this is as bad as trying to go into Lowe's <laughs> to pick up sandpaper and coming out with a cart full of tools. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> it's like going to Walmart. You can't come out of there with less than 100 bucks. Uh, I just bought a... <laughs> Ivo Novo said, and I get a shout out, yeah. just just brought a smile to this broke starting out woodworker. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, 4321, no, it doesn't say that. It, he says, does it constantly say you've connected to another at one on YouTube music? No, mm-hmm. it just, mine works. I, don't, I haven't, had any, haven't had any issues. Force, wants, Force Woodworks, does it allow you to break the tracks up into pieces such as different instruments? Uh, no, YouTube music doesn't. So if you're looking for that, for like music for your videos, Epidemic Sound. That's who I use. And yeah, you can break those up. <laughs> Mary, man. Thank Super you, man. Chat. He said, Amy, I owe you a mallet <laughs> ornament. Maybe this will buy me some time. <laughs> That's uh, hilarious. I didn't know that you were going to give those away. And I saw that on there and I, I ran to the door. I was like, I want one of those. I was like, give, you, actually, I she love, said, I want a set yeah, of those. I, <laughs> Y'all, I love Christmas. Mm-hmm. Like, I decorate. She's like Buddy the Elf in Miss 731 form. Yes. <laughs> and every time I go to our marketplace here in town, I buy more Christmas ornaments, and I come home, and I'm like looking and looking, trying to find a spot on the tree that's ar- <laughs> not already covered with three other ornaments. So now I'm putting ornaments on the back where you can't even see them. <laughs> it's getting pretty bad, but I still buy them. Mm-hmm. I love them. Jim Spike says, what projects have you done with your Dalmax and how do you like it? So far, I've built a picture frame with them and I built my workbench with it and I like it. I think it's a really good tool. It's extremely accurate. That's what I like about it. And it's easy to use. Is it costly? Yeah, but most really good tools are and it just, it works really good. I just, I'm a fan of it and I'll keep using it. <laughs> 4321 says, think maybe... Because my YouTube account is being used by my kids on the home devices. It's yeah, messing right. it up for me in the shop. Darn kids. <laughs> Curtis M., member for two months of our One Before you, Supporter, man. says the only show that I watch live on here. Keep it up. Yeah, I appreciate it. Check that. out Married Man on uh, Monday. Married Man's too. got a good show. Uh, I was does. on there last night. He's going to have James King on next Monday night at 6 p.m. Uh, it's Woodworker Woodworking YouTubers is hey, the name Gary of the Glover. channel. Work is actually making me work. So that's funny. <laughs> Doy and I use Final Cut Pro. Oh, thank to you, edit, man. I use Final Cut Pro to edit my videos with. Hey, Dallas Lombard. I like that name. From Knoxville, Tennessee. Knoxville, Tennessee. Thank you, Ancient Tom. Super Jack. Oh, I heard that one that time. Yeah. I don't always hear them. Um, oh, and Stephanie says to make sure you smash that like button. Y'all. Smash it. Smash uh, last night, Stephanie, I was trying to... To make you proud of me last night. So on Married Man's, I, I told them to hit the like button. Yeah. I, was, I was trying to follow in your footsteps there. <clears throat> hey, Jason, I saw, I've seen those uh, Facebook like button things. You can mount them on the wall. Those things are so expensive, though. Like, they're very expensive. I've looked at them. Jason says, I was at the dentist and they had, oh, sorry. I, I was reading. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. That is pretty cool, though, when they have mm-hmm. stuff like that. It just encouraged people to go mm-hmm. like them, you know. Yep, 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 yep. Hello, so all you have. I'd be people curious from to know. Indie, I'd be curious to know what your stocking stuffer idea would be. What What was like if you're a woodworker? Well, they were what putting would you stuff want to in put there. On there. Yeah, I missed it because I was talking. Well, I was writing down, but they were putting gift cards. First of all, a lot of people like gift cards, but yeah, us men don't mind getting cash money. Yeah, no. Because that way they can go to Home Depot, Lowe's, gift cards pick up whatever are, they want. Gift cards are so great because of that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. Because you can, it takes the guesswork out. Yep. You know, so yeah, gift cards are great and they fit in the stockings. You know? We always put, we always put gift cards in our kids' stockings mm-hmm. when they were growing up. We always did that. 
Lakeshore Woodwork says, what would you recommend for as a stocking stuffer for starting to create videos? That would depend on what you have. So if you don't have any audio equipment and, and you're just recording on your phone, then a, a, just a little wire, wired mic that connects to your phone mm -hmm. will, will level up your content because your audio will be much better. And they're like 25 bucks, I think is what they are. They're really cheap. But it just depends on what you got. Other than that, a good light. Oh, tape measure. Stephanie said extra oh, yeah. tape measures. Always. 4321 says small clamps, like six-inch clamps. Dallas said, Dallas Lombard says sanding disc. Yep, I like that. H2 says saw blades or clamps. Mm -hmm. Rich said gift cards. Um, clamps, gift cards mm -hmm. to Rockler. That's what <laughs> David Corliss says, a gift card to a specific gift card. Yeah. Um Trip Robbins, a gift card for Forest to Home would be nice. A miter saw, it'll fit. Yeah. <laughs> hey. What's up? You know what time it is? Power tip time. Power tip time. Do you I, remember it? I remember it. All right. Power tip is stock and suffer. You can never go wrong with clamps. I saw a lot of people put clamps on there and I was like, they're taking my power tip. I know. When he told me that <laughs> as the power tip tonight, I was thinking, man, really? You talk about clamps all the time. Oh, Woodworker cool. like some clamps. But y'all are all over it. So. We love some clamps. Um, Hugh McMath, no, I do that too. I go the day after Christmas every year to shop mm. for Christmas ornaments. Mary Man, Mark and Knife is a good idea. Hugh McMath, you know what that reminds me of? That was an episode of the Waverly Place or whatever, and it was like Hugh, the, Hugh Mungus was the name of the guy. Remember? He was a giant, or he acted like he was a giant. It was a kid's show they were watching. He, he was His name was Hugh Mungus. And they, I do remember that. He but was I a don't, giant, but he wasn't really a giant. He was he, really little. He was actually just a regular sized person, but, yeah, but he was always told he was We've had a giant. Hugh McMath on here before because we've talked oh, about liking his name. Mm -hmm. I know. So that that reminds mm -hmm. you. <laughs> it is. I just reminded me of that show. <laughs> You're funny. Uh, hey, y'all, I'm going to tell you something real quick. Oh, Lord, you sound it like a... Listen, this week, info I can't there. remember who emailed me. I'm very sorry. I got an email like two days ago that said, heads up. Bessie clamps, 50 inch oh, Bessie yeah. clamps are $85 a pair, normally $140 on Amazon. I was like, what? So I went over there, sure enough, 85, $84 a pair, something like that. And regular $140 a pair. I bought two pair. I was like, I can't pass this up. Boom, bought them. And uh, like, it went a little bit later. Yeah, it was like 10 minutes later. I went back to check because I was going to post it to the YouTube community tab to say, hey, everybody, go look at this. They sold out, buddy. Gone like that. Um, they said gift card for Home Depot, mm -hmm. um, saw stop cartridge, CNC yeah. bits, pocket hole screws. Mm -hmm. Uh, four, three, two, one says only problem with tape measures is a guy like him only uses one specific yeah. brand so that it matches his miter station tape. <laughs> he sounds a little OCD there. I well, love OCD. Accuracy matters. So you I gotta... love OCD. Uh, Riv, Festool, anything. Can't go wrong with that green. Can't go, can't go around there. Um, the one you did in the five gifts video recently, Stephen says, Stephen Plazo. Which one? Says the one you did in the five gifts video recently. Hold on. Let me I've go. got three of those videos so far. Oh, the five gifts. Yeah. Oh, the woodpecker square. Oh yeah. Maybe. That's a good one. Um, clamps at Rockler. All kind of, um, Tracy Delph wants to know what brand of clamps do you recommend? Bessie. Bessie. Eric Schiffman says quality earplugs. Uh, so uh, either 3M makes some work tunes that look like this. They go over the ear like that. Isotunes make several different kinds, some with wires, some that are very similar to these uh, AirPods that are just like wireless, one in each ear. And then somebody, hey, John just, somebody just asked me if these work as ear protection, Patrick Kerfoot. They have sound isolating. How much it isolates, I don't know. It sounds like a lot. These actually, you can push and hold these and it'll open them up so that you can hear everything around you. Push and hold them and it closes off again. It's active noise canceling. So I like them. Uh, I use them in the shop all the time and I can tell a huge difference when I have them on versus when I don't. Uh, Jim C says he wants a digital angle device. Yep, those are awesome. Uh, we Nest TV. Uh, it's capital We there. Mm -hmm. uh, been watching for months. Finally subscribed today. Thank you so <laughs> I much. I appreciate that. Uh, what CAD cam, CAD slash cam, CAD slash cam software do you recommend? Love the channel. Uh, I'm using Carbide Create Pro. I've had several people recommend me to use Fusion or Vetric. I just, I haven't paid for those programs. I did pay for the 
hundred and something dollars, hundred and twenty for Carbide Create Pro. I'm not good enough to be diving into a bunch of 3D stuff, so for right now, it's working for me. Hugh McMath says yellow or red pencils are good stocking stuffers. They work great for marking dark woods like walnut. That's, That's awesome. Right. I use soapstone for I that. I want a red pencil. I want a pencil that writes. You red. just want to write on your Kia stuff. <laughs> I have red pens. I never, I <laughs> never grade with red. I never grade with red. I had teachers do that growing up. And if I got a 98 or a 99 on something, I was bad upset. And I hated that red mark. <laughs> so I will not grade with uh, red. That's funny. And if they make a bad grade, I, I'll put like a smiley face at the top or something. I'm like, it's okay. We'll do better next time. <laughs> okay. And then maybe with some, I'm like, it's okay. We're probably not going to do better next time. Oh, it just happens, y'all. Hmm. Um, what was another? Oh, uh, Joshua Patton says, always ask for a domino. Someone will eventually say yes. <laughs> uh, hold on. Becca says she's used AirPods and the 3M over the uh, the Wars Bluetooth mm -hmm. ones that I like a lot, too. Um, somebody had said they wanted a saw stop in their stocking, too. You know... Money fits in a stocking. The money for the saw stop <laughs> could fit in the stocking. Yeah, it does. There's where that gift card could come yeah, in handy. Does. One thing I will say on the ear, I keep seeing people talk about the ear protection. One thing I will say, uh, these or the Power Beats Pro, Power Beats Pro don't have any active canceling. They just basically smush in your ear and whatever that gives you. These have active canceling. These are, sound good. They have a good sound quality. The, the ISO tunes and the 3M both lack bass. If you like bass heavy stuff, but if you're just listening to spoken word, podcasts, or books, those are excellent. But if you want really, if you want to hear the, then you're going to need one of something. Well, mine is buffering bad. Uh, Clark Duncan, member for three months of our virtual Thank fist you, bump crew. How many ornaments made by y'all for your tree? You uh, both are a blessing. I don't, we have homemade ornaments that mm -hmm. the kids have always made. We haven't made up, any woodworking yet. However, however, this year... I'm leaving the Christmas tree up in our bedroom and I am going to decorate it for every season. We're going to make ornaments that I'm going to design and my daughter and I, Mo, and I are going to paint and we're going to offer them for sale. Hopefully. I know That's why I'm idea. a buffer now. Why? Well, you remember how I push buttons? Uh-huh. All the time? Well, earlier today, I just got a thumbs down for that. The earlier today, what happened was I was working on recording video locally, so you I changed. You got a thumbs down for what? When I said, you know what I did? Oh. <laughs> when I changed, I changed the stream settings to 1080p uh -huh. instead of 720p, which makes uh -huh. the stream bigger. That's why we're both. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My bad. Mm -hmm. As usual. So you push buttons. Okay. <laughs> Greg Strong, um, yeah, we did the spotlight earlier. It was a... Um, uh, a really cool uh, It was a cool cross. cross made out of wood and leather right at the beginning of the show. Uh, John Burton, first grandson born a week ago, looking for something Yay. great to build him. Oh, my gosh. What? Build a bridge for him to come see me. <laughs> so uh, when he gets to be toddler size, good step stools. Oh. Uh, uh, All Red Woodworks had a good one where he made for his he granddaughters did, but to step in up. In the community, there was, there's been some posted of those, too. Mm -hmm. Uh, Some but different that's, ones. That's a few years from now. Yeah. Uh, right now, I mean, I don't know. Maybe if you if you're really good, a crib or something. Maybe I, I don't know. What would you suggest? Something. I don't know. I don't know. It it depends on what, like what the nursery is in. If the nursery is decorating decorated in sports, you mm -hmm. can make something that would hold like a hat or something. Say future ball player or. Something like that. I, mm -hmm. I, it just depends. But yeah, whatever. The, what is it? Like if the parents decorated the nursery, if they got a certain theme, then maybe yeah. go for that. I'm buffering too, guys. It's my me bad. too. It's, it's my fault. It's my yeah. fault. Yeah. Yeah, Gabe. I know it's mine's really bad too. Uh, uh, Mich uh, Michelle Cochelle says dis uh, discounts offered at sites you were recommending in today's vid. The only discount codes I have, uh, if you use 731 Woodworks at, um, where's that? Uh, See uh, starbond.com, you'll get some discount at taytools.com on CMT blades. You can use code 731 CMT10 or any micro jig product 731 micro jig 10. Uh, and then, our of course, on our website, holiday 20 gets you 20% off. But other than that, the other ones I don't. Uh, Dallas, it's not on your end, it's on ours yeah, this it's time. Me. It's me. Well, hopefully, we'll have it fixed for next week. I'm buffering like crazy. <laughs> um, 
Four three two one said, but you look fantastic in ten eighty. Thank you. Steph is asking where her favorite mo is. I think she's probably got all three pups in there tonight, and she's probably doing homework. Yeah, she's finals I'm, week. Yeah, they're in finals this week, and because normally she's on here. Hey, Cassandra. Damon is oh, a good a idea. Oh, a horse. A changing table. Well, a changing table is a good one if they don't already have it. They may have bought a set, but a rocking mm. horse would be. It would be. A chain. I always wanted a changing table. I never had one. That was not something I bought. And so if they don't have one, I just think it, a changing <laughs> table is super cool. I always wanted one. A cradle. Um, there was somebody that built a cradle, at, and they somebody posted it to the community. It was like the grandparent that was the woodworker was into fishing. And do you remember seeing that? It was like a... A fish being a swallowing the baby or something when it it mm -hmm. was some kind of weird play on I don't know it was super cool I don't know. Hey, Copper John's on here. Tom Oni said he made a cradle for his grandson. Awesome. Or grandbabies. I'm sorry, grandbabies. I just want a grandbaby. Uh, oh, shoot, Jorge, yeah, that uh, exotic wood projects are good. Um, I think I like I love to make mallets and so. Exotic wood mallets are really cool. If you check out James King, he has several projects on using exotic wood, but he's got some mallets that are just phenomenal. They're, he makes them like the Thor style. Uh, King's Fine Woodworking is his channel. Uh, hold on, let me answer that. Steve Ramsey has a wooden snowflake ornament video. That'd be cool. Is that something you'd need a scroll saw, or how do you make that? I have to go check that out. <laughs> Jim Williams blames you for this. Me? The buffering. What? You're not providing the appropriate level of supervision. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is probably oh, a very good observation. I like Copper John's idea, a rocking chair. I do too. Oh, yeah. Rocking chair. Toddler That's desk good. or chair. That's cool, too. George Peach says that. Kenneth Stockton. Um, I, it's so hard to keep an eye on him. It's like he gets into everything. It's I'm like here a all, kid, all day. So. It's like a kid who first realizes that they have hands that reach for things, and he reaches for stuff constantly. And I'm, <laughs> we're in a doctor's office, and I'm like, no. I asked her if she if, no. she if she thought that the pilot would let me go up to the cockpit and push some buttons while we were in there because I got a bunch of buttons in there. She wouldn't. We're getting ready to do some more traveling yep. now. Uh, Kenneth Stockton, where do you get to per where I purchase my saw blades? I purchase all mine from TayTools.com. I like CMT blades, so that's where I buy mine at. Uh, the oh, CMT, thank you, Becca. The CMT ITK Extreme blades are, are really good. If you want a lesser expensive blade, I prefer the chrome version of the blades, but the ITK Extreme blades work really well. I've done a video on those a while back. So, that's one of those. what's what would be your favorite Bible verse to put on something for a Sunday school for an adult class? Uh, Matthew 5, 14 through 16. Or just Matthew 5, 14. Hey, it's on my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> a handmade wooden rattle. That is oh. genius. Genius, Becca. Good job. I like that. That's so cool. That is a good idea. Toy box is cool, too. Uh, we actually made a toy box no, for my no sister's uh, first grandbaby. And he still has it. He was, it was for his first birthday though. Um, but I put his name on it and I probably shouldn't have. It looked better before I put it. Steve McVaugh says, if you lower your quality, the buffering will go away. So just click the little gear icon if you're on desktop. I lowered mine. And it'll drop the, mm -hmm. you'll all, we'll all look not as pretty and clean, but it'll work. Uh, James Mellis wants to know if 731 Woodworks has gift cards. That would be a good stuffer. That would be. I'll look into that. Yeah, we could we could totally do that. Surely we could add oh, that to the website, a project website, right? out of poplar. Alex Projects wants to know. Project. A lot of people build tabletops out of poplar. Um, I, I've never worked with it, so I, I'm the wrong guy to ask. Somebody said that James King, uh, 4321 said James awful. King's mallets are 50% off right now for mm -hmm. Christmas. That's cool. Uh, Jason Garrett, did Matt get Gibbs slap on the plane? <laughs> no, <laughs> she just, she was, she was bad. Um, 
Anxious. Anxious. I will say she was really upset. Not upset, but like scared when we took off for the first time. On the way back, it wasn't as bad. I didn't care for the ride back. We were in a smaller plane and we took off. And until we got over 40,000 feet, it was like really rough. Not bad, not like shaking you, but rough enough. Felt like you're driving down a gravel road. I didn't like that. I want my airplane to be smooth. Smooth? Smooth. With an F. <laughs> smooth. Smooth That's with a V. That's some more of that 731 vocabulary. That's smooth with a V. <laughs> oh. S-M-O-O-O-V-E. It's a V. Smooth. 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 Not smooth. Not smooth. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's what me. happened when I tried to slip one out. <laughs> smooth. <laughs> smooth. Here's the airplane ride. <laughs> I so have to tell my student first here tomorrow <laughs> that he is not smooth. <laughs> no, I tell him he's not smooth. He's smooth. He's smooth. Because <laughs> he's not slipping them That's out. That's terrible. <laughs> no lie. I have a kid that I had to enter a demerit for, for loudly passing gas in class. And I happened to go back on the demerit list and look in the next class he goes to. He gets another demerit for passing gas <laughs> loudly in class. Like, What's the world coming to when you can't go to school and break wind? They can Y'all break too hard wind. We just tell them to go do it in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Have you ever thought about getting a lathe? 1807 Woodworking wants to know. I know. I, that's just something that's never <sighs> interested me. I, I don't know. I, it's just... For whatever reason, I've seen, I love watching they're people do it and they make cool. awesome stuff. But I just, when I think about getting one for myself, it's just not, not something interesting. Uh, Miss Cheryl wants to know what James King's website is. It's King's Fine Woodworking. If you'll Google that, you'll see it. Yeah, his, yeah, his mallet are Yeah, I is. I don't know where he's at tonight, Becca. Oh, I haven't seen Lloyd in here tonight. Is Lloyd, Lloyd in He was here? on last night with Mary Mead. Yeah, so Butter Smooth. Smooth. <laughs> I can't even say it. <laughs> Cassandra. Butter Smooth. <laughs> she's got a t and an f on there and i can't say it smoofed it's the t's first smooth but <laughs> butter smoofed is a bad day <laughs> this kidney stone is butter smoofed <laughs> uh, oh my goodness oh thank you for three two one miss cheryl he put the link for uh james king in the, there in King's the chat com. yep there you go <laughs> <laughs> JB Smooth at work. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, That's a good idea, uh, John Jan, Olive. Mm-hmm. Uh, jo- Jan, 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 Jan Olive. Olive. Jacobson. That's that sounds like Jan, a name that Jan, you would yeah hear in a song. <laughs> I make beeswax for my friends, cutting mm-hmm. boards for Christmas since it's antibacterial. Super cool. So I got a I got a video <laughs> idea. I'd like to run past you guys. If uh, oh, comment, let me know. Uh, if you'd like to see one, I, I've been thinking about making a video about how to make a website for your woodworking products or business. Even if you just want to display them, send people to it. So I'm just curious. Let us know what you think. Uh, Jason said that he's seen people turn a lathe into a drum sander. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, my boss, her husband has a lathe and they, he makes pins. Mm-hmm. They're really pretty. Like really, really, really pretty. Do you know that they use CA glue a lot of times to make those shiny? <laughs> what? Oh, thin CA glue to make the shiny pin. Like really? Yeah, these wood turned pins. Uh uh-uh. Yep. When you that shiny I've finish on there. Never seen anything you've used CA glue on turn out shiny. No, because it's not I, the thin. You just put a thin layer on while they're turning it, mm-hmm. and they just like put it on there, and it makes it shiny. That's pretty cool, actually. Show Oh, Lord. Sholius. Future crop duster. Ch- oh, man. <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he is, Riv. He said, <laughs> my student's a future crop duster. <laughs> Cassandra, yes, she still has a kidney stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, It, it got real bad in front of my kids yesterday. I'm actually, I'm, I'm in that torn position of, I don't want to go have surgery if I don't if I don't have to I want to try to pass it on my own but I'm also starting to get into a position of my kids are having to see me double over and like today one of them wasn't watching Uh, he wasn't looking up he was writing his notes and I kind of stopped talking mid-lecture and he said did you forget where you were at Miss Outlaw and then he looked up and he was like oh and another kid said no it's her stone and I couldn't speak for a minute and I was doubled over and I was like 
I was doing this. I was like, <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. So I don't think it's good to be like that in front of them. Nope. Our program director, Miss Stephanie Simpson, hey, says Carrie we Burns. got to tell people about our awesome Facebook community. If you go to facebook.com yes. slash groups slash 731 works, you'll be able to join that community and share your projects, share information, help people out. It's stupid, always positive. We don't let any negativity in there. If it does come in there, we get it out of there. So uh, we're there to help, and uh, people love helping each other. So that's what's I awesome. haven't been on Facebook hardly any, and the last few times I've popped on for a second, I've seen like you have 10 moderation alerts. And so I click on it and they're all taken mm, care of like always. immediately. So our guys do such a good, it's their community. It's y'all's community. And everybody does such a good job to make sure it stays positive. Mm. So it's a really safe place to be. Hey, Stephen Esden from Maine. I want to go to Maine. Yep. Get some of that New England clam chowder. Carrie Burns says, sorry, I'm late to the show from South Dakota. You're here. That's all that matters. We <laughs> we were waiting on you, Carrie Burns. Yep, sure was. We were waiting. We were waiting. Yep. 4321 said that King's Final Working has got 50% off discount code Christmas21 during checkout. He's been blasting it on his YouTube stories. Uh, so have no issue sharing it. It's public. Sweet. That's a sweet deal because he's got some sweet mallets. Uh, H2 Woodshop says that Mrs. H2 and himself mm -hmm. are wrapping Christmas gifts That's while awesome. watching our show. That's Thank awesome. <laughs> oh, gosh, nice. Justin. Eldris said, my wife had surgery and had 13 stones mm -hmm. She's had multiple surgeries for kidney stones. Yeah, I've, I've had about 12 surgeries for it. I've never had that many in one surgery. Hers are just usually one giant one. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Project Toyota. Super Any jam. pointers for jointing with a planer? Can't ever seem to make it work. Hope you get better soon. Miss Seven Thirty One, praying for you. Thank you. Uh, I haven't jointed with the planer. I, I know uh, Colin Connett Woodwork Web has a video on that. I would highly recommend going and checking him out. I watched it, and basically you turn your board up vertical and run it through the planer. Uh, yeah, Becca, my kids they they are really really. Um, even on days that they drive me crazy and I think they're absolutely mm -hmm. nuts, if they think anything is wrong with me, they, they step up their game. Mm -hmm. uh, can't they do ultrasonic treat? Yes. I've had that done before. I'm just trying my best not to. She would really like to pass it. On my own. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about all that. Clam chowder. Where'd that go? Where'd it go? Kiko says, y'all think the wind 10 inch bandsaw is any good? That's going to be my Christmas present. I've got the, what, what size is the one I got? Eight inch, maybe. It's pretty good. Now, it's not. It's not going to be a super powerful one, and I, you can't really resaw with those. The one I've got, I don't know uh, what size it is. I, it fails me. I think it's an eight inch. Hey, but you really, maybe six. Uh, you can't resaw with it because the blade. You can't get a thick enough blade that stays true and doesn't walk on you. So resawing is a no go. But cutting really tight curves and stuff works fantastic. Uh, Tom Oni, I've actually had that done multiple times. Um, where they do the shockwaves mm -hmm. and it it's been successful i've had it done i think i've had the shockwave done three times maybe um and then clark duncan says that in colorado they blast them with lasers and break them up so they pass lasers that's, yeah that's the same i had one done that burned me burned my skin on both sides even though only the laser only went in one side mm -hmm. but i've done all kinds of surgeries for them Mary Bam wants to know, will the holidays impact your video or live stream schedule? The only way it will impact is if Christmas Eve or Christmas Day falls on a Sunday or Thursday. Let me see where they fall. If they do, then we won't release on the, either one of those. That's days. the clock, not the calendar. Uh, Christmas the reason, falls on a Saturday. So, there you so go. No. day after Christmas, there, Lord willing, will be a video on the 26th. What uh, the reason being is traditionally, every time I've ever released a video on a holiday, they just fall flat because people are with their families. And so it just, there's really no reason to put one out that day if nobody's going to watch it. You know, the majority won't watch it. I want to go get some. I would rather people watch, be spending time with their family and worry about the videos. I want to go get some she crab soup. I don't know What'd what you that call is. Me? I don't know what it is, but I want it. It's mid Atlantic she crab soup. Uh, Rich, if you want a biscuit joiner for alignment, Steve Ramsey has a couple of good, pretty good videos on um, biscuit joiners. If you want it to help you align tabletops so that they help you with sanding, that's what they're for. They're not for strength. So they're not mm -hmm. going to add you 
any strength anywhere. So like putting breadboard ends with a biscuit joiner, don't do that. It's not going to add any strength. And uh, they're just, they're for alignment only. So it, they're really not made. Because the glue on a, you know, if you're gluing a panel up, the glue that's touching those two boards is what's going to cause the strength, not the biscuit. So you can put a little glue in there. It, you know, it's going to be there, but it's not going to cause, the, your, the, the joint is the strength. So, but they're just going to help you align the top to, so that you don't have to do as much sanding. Uh, Larry Broom says that he is turning a 16 foot trailer into a Christmas float. That's awesome. For his church, it's going to be a train engine. Yes. And he said he'll send a picture. It's going to be Please all do. wood. Post that to the community. Yeah, that Damon would be cool. said that too. Uh, post that to the community. <laughs> Mo's on here. Mo, they've been asking about you. Steph was asking about her favorite yep. Mo. Uh, Steph, she just popped on for a second to let us know her dog jumped on her bed. <laughs> yeah. Big it's, news. It's Breaking the, news. Breaking beep, news. Beep, 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 beep. There's like a five inch dog that was able to jump <laughs> on the bed. <laughs> Which nailer do you recommend? So I've got some Porter cable um, nailers and I got, I got the, uh, it's a little pancake air compressor and it come with three nailers, an 18 gauge, a 16 gauge and a pin nailer. I use that pin nailer all the time and I really like it. I've got, also got an 18 gauge uh, Brad nailer. That's a cordless Brad nailer for my rigid, tools and i like it too if i had to pick one or the other i would go with the air compressed one because you can get all three for fairly decent price i was given those as a gift a while back but they they work really well and uh, not that expensive i think bostitch makes a, a package similar to that uh, craftsman makes a, a package very similar to that so any of those would be really good we gotta go see becca so i can go to to somewhere and have some of that mm-hmm Mm -hmm. that'd be cool i love seafood oh my gosh yep. we're becca's finna... making me and, and uh, michelle cochelle hungry <laughs> in january we're going to be flying out to i booked the flight this morning actually flying out to look at her she's a jet setter now we're gonna be flying out to you well, actually las vegas we're flying into vegas and then where we're actually going to is two hours north of there uh, mm -hmm. we've signed i got a class i'm going to we're going we're flying to atlanta no we're flying to well, St. Get, Louis. Yeah, we got a layover in St. Louis. And then I have to go on a second plane ride on the same day. Yeah. Over to Vegas. To Vegas, and then we'll drive. And I'll then, try to keep her out of the casino. Yeah, I forget that. <laughs> keep me away from some of the food, though, and I will. Yeah, if y'all got some places to eat in, in Vegas, please send me yes, an email. Because we'll be staying there one night. Uh, well, two and then, nights, actually. The night we get uh, yeah, there, and, and then the night we travel before back. we leave. But we're having to go on the way back. We're, our layover is in Denver, the yeah. Denver airport. And that one's really scaring me because that airport is so big and we won't have Riv and Missy there to help us. <laughs> and Riv, I feel like I need you and Missy there with us. <laughs> I need them to help show us the way. Mada Javu, this is an awesome question. Thank you for this. What is the most worthless tool that people buy when first starting out with That's working? That's a good question. I bought a hand planer. It's like one of those hand electric planer, not a not a hand powered, but a, a a wind hand planer. That thing I couldn't make it do nothing. I was just cutting grooves and everything. That was a total waste of my money. There's a video on the channel. It's like my second, maybe third video on the channel, just where I took it out of the box and looked at it. That thing has been so worthless to me. Uh, also, uh, there was this little expandable thing you put your pencil in. And you're supposed to expand it over here, and make a mark. It was on Amazon. It was. Facebook ads everywhere on that thing. I bought that for 20 bucks. It was a piece of garbage. Uh, I actually bought an Incra slide looking thing. It's about this wide. I just bought this a couple weeks ago. And it's got, it it's basically looks like a little square, but it's got holes all in that thing where you can put your pencil and mark a line. The thing's not square, so you can't use it. It like this little piece down here moves a little bit. I'm like, I was really disappointed. I thought Incra made really good stuff. So I was, I got that in. It was, of course, it was inexpensive, $20, $25, but I was just like, man. Steph, uh, Mo is planning on getting her doctorate. Mm -hmm. So, yep, she's she's planning on going all the way. She can do it, too. If there's anybody in this world that can do it, it's her. Oh, yeah, she'll get it. Mm-hmm. She's got this. <laughs> Rich said my worthless <laughs> tool was a Ryobi table saw. <laughs> Sorry, man. Oh, they're telling me, uh, telling us places that we've got to go to. Y'all got to email me though, because I won't ever see them. In this, I won't ever remember them. McDonald's in the chat. on the strip is what Josh <laughs> says. That's fantastic. 
What you do? Please you tell me McDonald's is code for a restaurant that had a really good sense of humor. That's <laughs> uh, hilarious. We're going. Somebody asked. We're going to Zion National Park. Is where we're going to be staying. Mm-hmm. It's for a class. Like we got to be there all day, every day. So we won't even have any free time. Mm-hmm. So we're just there for the class, then we're coming home. But we will yeah. have time to eat. Uh, in Vegas one night. So see Bagley says that he's going to send more baby photos later so that I can ooh over them. You better. She will. I promise you. (laughs) I love babies. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to be around babies all day long. All day. Four, three, two, one. I love that. Thank you for that. Or puppies. Babies or puppies. I should do a video on the five, because five is a magic number, right? The five tools I hate the most. That is an awesome idea. Yep. It's going in the He's adding it to his notes right now. (laughs) He's doing it. I use Notion. It's basically like a a storyboard type thing. Five tools I hate the most. Shout out to... James Nino says Zion is heaven. We're excited, Zion. Oh, yeah. It looks really pretty on all of the Uh. pictures we've seen so far. It looks really nice. We were talking about, because I've always wanted to see the Grand Canyon. It's two hours south of there, the North Rim. We was going to go down there. So I pulled it up on the map, and I'm like, it's two hours down there. Then we have to go two hours back, and then another two hours to Vegas. So we're talking about eight hours to drive down there and look and say, yep, hole in the ground, and turn around and come back. So I think we're going to skip it this time. Maybe maybe go to the South Rim some other time. Um, So, Mo... Mo don't want me to start talking about having grandkids. <laughs> yes, yeah, Steph. Uh, she, he keeps trying to tell me to get my doctorate, and I'm not interested. She's 96 I'm hours done. away. 96 short little hours. It's like a work week and a half, and you've yeah. got your doctorate. I'm good with my master's, um, but Mo's getting her doctorate. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Riff said, Ryobi Belt Sander, DeWalt Grinder, mm-hmm. both used once. Can y'all slide some tips about getting grant stipends or anything? Yeah, if y'all have any good tips on how to get that for, uh, because our kids, our kids have gotten really lucky. They've had full rides for their undergraduate, and they've ended up with full rides for their masters so far. The, our oldest son and Mackenzie, our youngest son, uh, hasn't started. He, he's still in his undergrad, uh, but they, Mo and Dylan, have worked it to where they've ended up getting full rides for everything. So. She's stressing now. She does not want to pay for college because she's always been paid to go to college. So, Welcome to the real world. <laughs> yeah, that's why you make the big bucks as a school teacher. You're that's a public so. school teacher, Mo. You make that big money. Not <laughs> All right. It is yep. after eight. We've kept y'all alone. Yeah. Thank y'all so much. But it's been fun. It has been fun. Until next time on the episode number next. Episode number next. See you then. Thank, Thank y'all. y'all. Have a good night. <laughs> Bye. Bye.